Good evening. Right, it's three days since my last video. Now, obviously, I drove back. I drove from Suffolk to back to my home in Oxfordshire, in Fringford. I've uh, gone back and forth to work the last three days. Finished my last shift just now. Dropped off a work colleague, and now we're heading back to Suffolk. So there's uh, 98 miles on the gone. 78 percent. I'm not going to mess around trying to get free charges this time, free vents. So it's off to Milton Keynes, find the nearest uh, Polar Plus, top up, and then off to Cambridge, and then off to Suffolk. So let's see how it goes. Just called the Maple, pulled over and called the Maple Leaf driver and let her mum away. So she's well pleased. And Freya the Wonder Dog is getting excited as well. So on my way to Milton Keynes. Get a quick charge and then on my way further. Just passing through Bister at the moment, the north end near Fringford where I uh, where I live. It's getting dark now. When it get this time of year, when it gets dark, you realise how difficult it is to get up at five in the morning, do a twelve-hour shift, and then drive to Suffolk. Uh, obviously I'm going to be charging soon so I'll, I'll get 20-30 minutes rest and then continue on my journey and it does mean I wake up in Suffolk tomorrow and get uh, three and a half days with my beloved so it's worth the effort next February we get married and she's coming to live in Oxfordshire, so these journeys will be a thing of the past. Well, we made it to Milton Keynes uh, Coffee Hall, I think this area is called, and our first uh, stop. Uh, so let's uh, let's get charged. Right then, here we are at uh, the Polar Plus. Let's see how it goes. Use the card. Choose, choose energy, Chadamo. Plug cable in. All right, let's get the cable. That's the bad boy. Sorry about it being dark, but that is life. So that's plugged in. Press the start button and we're at 53%. Let's see it climb up. Reassuring noises from the leaf. And that's ramping up quite nicely. Now I get to have a well-earned rest for about 20 minutes, so I'm going to get a bit of shut-eye, I think. Well, it's 98 miles to uh, my destination in Suffolk, and we have 108 miles on the gasometer. We're at 93%. There's no, more, no point in going much further on a charge. We've gone to 94 now because the ampage is going to drop off tremendously, which means we'll, you know, to get those last couple of percent, we'll be here for absolutely ages. So, let's set off. Now, we can make it all the way uh, without, without stopping, and there's a margin for error, so we can comfortably make it. But because Polar Plus electricity is cheaper than domestic electricity, I'll probably stop at Cambridge, at the Belfry, just get a little bit of a top up so I'm not completely empty when I get there or near as damn it and then maybe pop down into Ipswich tomorrow and use another Polar Plus to uh, to fill it back up again so let's uh, let's 
and uh, unplug. So time to unplug, so present the card again. Continue or stop. Battery's at 95% it says. Let's, uh, let's take it up to a nice round number of 12 kilowatts. Actually it's doing quite well, yeah. 21 minutes and it's at 97% and it's at just over 12 kilowatts. As it's doing so well, I might just let it run for another couple of minutes and then unplug. There we go, 25 minutes, 12.71 kilowatts and 98%. So let's stop. Ending process. Charge ended by user. Process complete. So let's unplug then. Um, folks. Sorry, I had the card in my mouth. All unplugged. Close the flap, which I always forget to do. And off we go on our merry way. 98%, 114 miles on the range. And we've got 98 miles to go. So let's go. Well, as you can see, we're at, uh, you're at the Belfry in Cambridge. We got 53 miles left to our destination and 86 miles left on the GOM. So we can easily make it but I, I pulled over here because we can get uh, electricity here for 9 pence a kilowatt hour rather than the 16 that Maple Leaf Driver currently pays. So get as much as we can here less to charge at home. I would have come straight here, but if you look on Zap Map, this charger tends to uh, tends to only draw 20 kilowatts rather than the usual 50. So it's a bit of a slow uh, a slow thingy, but we'll, we'll get a top up here and then we'll be on our way. So here we are at the Polar Plus uh, Belfry at Cambridge, or well, Cambridge Belfry. So let's select DC, Chatamo. Here's a card, let's hold our card up. Please wait, I've already plugged her in, so. Hit the, And there she goes. We have an error. Try to recover. Recovery in progress. Cancel charge session. DC and a hit DC again. Please wait.
Okay, it's not gonna have it. Show details. Okay. Well, it's getting late and you probably can't see me that well. But after my inability to charge at the Polar Plus at uh, the Belfry at Cambridge, I've come down the A34, past the service station, crossed over the carriageway, come back up a little bit to uh, an Ecotricity where I charged the other day, which is on free vent. So I'll, uh, I'll plug in here for a bit and then make my way off to Suffolk. I don't need to, but I'm trying to prove a point. There's always a way around. And you'll be glad to know that uh, the Chadamo is uh, at the Ecotricity is charging perfectly. And I've got my, uh, my lights on my dash there flashing away, so you can't see them. But everything's working fine and I'm getting a charge. I'm at 48%, so I'll, I'll have my sandwiches, change my shirt before I get to these, and um, yeah. I'll speak to you again. Well, I'm getting a charge here at um, the services near Cambridge on the A14 and it's a free event which is always good. So uh, I'm going to make it to uh, the, Mo Ma the Maple Leaf drivers uh, at home with no problems and with uh, plenty of charge in the battery so that's all good. Bad news is I've left my supper at home. I made myself a lovely burger sandwich last night, put it in the fridge, ready to put it in my bag today something to eat but this time and I've left it at home. Oh. Mind you I did have a rather nice pasty from the covered market in Oxford today so I'm not completely angry. It's uh, 20 to 11. We're on the A14. We've just had a charge in Ecotricity. We've got 55 miles to go and 100 119 miles on the GOM now that we've got a charge. So off we go. Well, it's the next day. Made it back uh, to Maple Leaf Drivers about 11 o'clock last night, maybe a bit late, I can't remember exactly. Uh, quite tired, but obviously I'd been up since 5 in the morning. So um, I put the car on charge and basically went and enjoyed uh, some time with Maple Leaf Driver, well within half hour we were sat in bed sort of uh, eating cheesecake I bought at uh, the Marks and Spencers at my last charging place. Of course Freya wanted to share some of it which he did have, had a bit of a lie in then this morning, went and checked the car about nine o'clock and it was fully charged, uh, all the batteries uh, nicely balanced out full 100% so uh, that was quite nice. So it was an interesting trip, it sort of, uh, wasn't too bad. The trip down a couple of, you know, back last week was pretty good, pretty uneventful. Uh, the one back was a little bit more difficult. But to be fair, the uh, 30 kilowatt uh, hour leaf wasn't designed for uh, long cross-country cross journeys. It can do it, and that's what I proved. And obviously uh, Jonathan Porterfield Goes, uh, goes all the way up to uh, the Orkney Islands with one, so you know it can do long journeys, but its strength is day-to-day -day traveling to and from work, in which case you, you literally get up, travel to work, drive home, plug it back in and repeat. But people seem to suggest in various videos that it sort of can't do the longer journeys, or sort of on the news, that that ITV thing the other day was terrible. Sort of, they were giving people the wrong cars and trying to imply that uh, the infrastructure wasn't there. It needs to be improved, but these journeys are capable. Now, the government announced yesterday that they were spending millions of pounds on improving uh, the technologies for new cars and eco, you know, so eco-friendly cars and zero emissions. No, 
those technologies will come anyway, and they are coming. What we need to do is build the infrastructure, make it so that every major town and city has a charging hub. Every town has super, uh, not superchargers, but has fast chargers. And there's a network across the country, not just on the motorways, but uh, on the A roads of the country that have got reliable chargers. And not just one where if it goes on the goes bad, you're stuck in pairs. So anyway, that's my rant for today, and uh, speak to you again.